Father, we thank you. We honor you. We magnify your name today for the privilege you have given to us to witness this very day and to come together in the spirit to commune with you. We ask, Heavenly Father, you will cause your insights, your revelation to be imparted to our spirit and we all become doers of the word that light shall be added to light and our actions shall be graced with your ability to be able to do that which you have called us to do and to finish your work on the face of the earth that only you be glorified and the kingdom of darkness be disgraced and put to shame at all times in jesus name we have worship amen, amen. hallelujah glory to amen. god welcome once more of glory. glory hallelujah if you are happy say amen amen, amen. amen. yeah glory to god so um you can mute now while we proceed with the meeting um last week we talked about a the abcs of faith part one where we discussed about how does faith come and we said that romans 10 17 faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god we also discuss about we said faith is from the human spirit we established the fact that faith is from the human spirit faith is not from the brain okay faith is not just from the mind faith emanates from the human spirit from the spirit to the soul the soul which is the seat of the mind will and emotions to the mind from the mind and then the mouth now speaks okay so we establish that in Romans chapter 10 verse 10 for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation with the heart man believes heart just signifies the spirit so faith is a product of the human spirit faith is not a product of the human brain that is why you cannot imitate another person on the literal ground except you understand the process and go through the similar process or spiritual exercise the person has passed through that can also form over time the substance of faith in you that guarantees the outstanding results faith is not automatic it takes a process and we also establish that every man has been given the seed of faith so we grow our faith we have weak faith we have strong faith okay we have mighty faith and the rest of them so when the faith is weak what you do is to feed on the word of god expose yourself to messages that have life and then exercise yourself in the place of prayer as your faith will grow carry out spiritual exercise especially feeding on the word of god since faith comes by the word of god so your faith can be stronger all this we had the conversation last week today we would like to focus on how to release your faith how to release faith is the subtitle how to release faith and um, if you study closely the scriptures and human environment normally you realize that people say who they are and what they can do if you are in africa and you have witnessed two people who wants to fight or they have a misunderstanding on the road and they want to communicate with themselves or you see the pitch will be higher you see one of them saying do you know who i am i will show you who i am i am this i am that some go ahead and tell you who they are those words they are speaking are a proof of who they are they are telling you they are releasing their faith okay so number one how to release your faith is by words is by your words when a man speaks you can tell who he is by his words okay so words are not just mere communication words are not just mere communication if you look at it from the spiritual perspective words are not mere communication the mouth is not meant for just eating and drinking you know you know some believe that the mouth is meant for eating and drinking and then communication it's beyond that okay words are containers or vessels by which spirits move upon to create in the world of man words are containers that carries the presence of spirits to create in the world of man they are like containers okay words are like containers when you speak your words are not empty 
they move with the spirits of the source of the words. Men are like antennas, okay? They transmit energy, they receive energy. Men transmit words um, and receive words in the form of thoughts. When you receive words, you receive it in the form of thoughts. When it comes to you, then your mouth opens and then you begin to speak after processing. All right? But sometimes people don't have the time to process depending on the intensity of the thought. If the thought is emanating from another man's mind to your mind, you can process it fast. If that thought is from the realm of darkness and you don't have a spiritual authority, you can be moved to do things you didn't want to do. We now call that hypnotism. Okay? Where some people acquire certain witchcraft power or occultic power to run the minds of other people we call it hypnotism the ability of taking over another man's mind and making the man to do what he did not naturally intend to do that is called hypnotism there are hypnotic experts you go on youtube you're going to see several hypnotic experts teaching people how to hypnotize other people some are hypnotized into marriage and other things however the focus today because that is for another day the focus today is on words because you release your faith by your words okay words provide the legal base for spirit forces to operate in the realm of man so a man's world is controlled by his words a man releases faith it doesn't matter what that man is saying if that man is talking fear all the time that man will fall into fear now let us establish these things with the scripture remember we speak for impact okay i want you to remember that you don't speak for just common you speak for impact what does that mean remember jesus said in his word john chapter 6 verse 63 jesus made it clear in john chapter 6 verse 63 he said the spirit giveth life the flesh profited nothing the words i speak to you they are spirits and they are life the words i speak to you they are spirits and they are life there is nobody who understand the world more than Jesus. Nobody has faith more than Jesus. Nobody knows the mystery of life more than Jesus. And Jesus said the words that he speaks, they are spirits and they are life. Means that literally speaking, when the guy is speaking, spirits are coming out of him. <laughs> life is coming out of his mouth. Okay? And then the Bible told us in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Talking about human beings, talking about the earth man, talking about the, the beings that have the human blood. He said that death and life are in the power of the tongue. He didn't say rice and beans in the power of the tongue. He did not say a goosey soup and okra soup. He did not tell you that um, burger and cheese is in the power of the tongue. No, 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 no. So it's not about burger here. He said, death and life. Death and life. When we talk of death, we are talking about anything that is not in alignment with the peace, the harmony of mankind with respect to God's glory. Everything that does not align, that is not in synchronization with the life of God, with the purpose of God, with the glory of God, that thing is death. Death literally does not just mean, we're not talking about extinction. We're not talking about termination of human life from the physical world. No, 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 no. We're not talking about the heart and the brain stop functioning. When we talk about the context of death and life in a part of the tongue, means that God is saying man's tongue is authorized. Man tongue, man's tongue has been imparted with the ability to create pains, anguish, sorrow, and the likes. And also embedded in that tongue is the ability, authorization, is the mandate, is the capacity, enablement to be able to create beauty, glory, honor, dignity good report testimonies riches wealth and the likes so proverb 18 21 death and life is in the power of the tongue but b and they that love it shall eat its fruit thereof oh yeah the tongue produces fruits what is the fruit what you see in the physical realm what you see in the physical realm for those of us who are just coming in we are still on abc's of faith 
subtopic today we are talking about how to release your faith and we are taking the point of the words i'm going to stay on words today your words release your faith you can have faith in anything okay not necessarily in god all right but the advice given to us as believers we are to have faith in god how do you have faith in god you believe that god is faithful and when he says something he's going to do it absolutely and he's doing it now that is what faith is we talked about that last week okay so you release your faith by your words what you say is a function of your faith that's what you believe you hear some people every time you see them the government is bad the government is not doing good you hear them complaining the, the, the even in our country is i know this country can never be good this country can never be good nigeria can never be good uganda can never be good they keep on saying negative things america cannot be good why you ask them why say because of the president we have because of the governor we have because of the xyz let me tell you to that person over time he will eat the fruit of his words as the scripture cannot be broken see the world was created by the commandment of god genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and 3 he said the the earth was without form genesis chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters verse 3 then God said, let there be light, and there was light. Take note of some fact here and truth. The earth was shapeless, without form, means shapeless. The earth was like Amoeba, and it was void, empty. No positive activities, and darkness covered the surface of the deep. God has a choice to make. God could have started analyzing the darkness. God could have said, okay, this thing is shapeless. I don't know why it's shapeless. I didn't make it shapeless. Why is it not having shape? It's not having shape. I am thinking why it's not having shape. Uh, okay, it's empty. Why is it empty? I'm just worried about it's empty. Jesus, God, what are you worried about? I'm worried about the earth. What is happening to the earth is just empty. I don't know why the earth is empty. You know, that's the way people live. That's where Christians live. Some Christians live. I don't know why the earth is empty. You call them the next day. Why is it? This earth is too empty. It's just dark. It's just void. God could have done that. But look at the example of the Most High God, our Master and our Lord, who asked us to imitate Him. He came and discovered that the beautiful world He created, the beautiful dreams He created, seemed to be shattered for some factors and reasons. And when He looked at it, He did not focus on the problem. No, 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 no. He didn't focus on the issue. He focused on what he wants. Let me tell you, where the word of a king is, there is power. Okay? You are a king. Don't worry about the problem. Focus on the solution. God, look at the issue. I was thinking solution. The spirit of God started moving on the surface of the water. God was incubating upon the eggs. That's the meaning of the spirit moving. God was incubating. Like chickens will sit on their cheeks for a while. Get up. Come back and sit on the chicks, on the eggs, okay? Not chicks now, sit on the eggs so that the eggs will hatch over time. It's trying to give the egg certain temperature. We call it incubation. The, the mother hen will come and sit on the eggs for a time, maybe 30 minutes and get up and play around and come back and sit on the eggs again. Get up and play around and come and sit on the egg to give it a particular temperature so that over time the egg will hatch. The dream of that mother hen will hatch over time. So when God met situations that were like chaos, to him it was like a disaster his dream was like a disaster it was like a mess god did not go and complain about those things god focused on the answer the holy spirit brooded the holy spirit incubated upon the surface of the deep move upon the water and when the holy spirit has incubated enough god said light he, he spoke his vision from his words god is the god of faith god spoke Faith emanates from him. He is the word of God. If the word of God, faith come by the word of God, then the Bible said in the beginning was the word and the word was God. God is his word. His word is God. God is not separated from his word. Okay? So God himself is faith. And God said, let there be light. The margin said, light be. And the whole world, illumination came to the world. Now, darkness couldn't stand it. Why? Because the king said, light be. 
you see when you see situations do not spend your time analyzing in discouragement analyzing in worry analyzing we are saying if you analyze analyze it to in the, with a positive thought a positive direction towards solution not analyzing it with the heart of worry with the heart of defeat no and now look at that action that god demonstrated in genesis chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 then i love the book of ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 i will never forget that verse he said be ye imitators of god as his dearly beloved children amplified version king james that one say be ye imitators of god as his children okay and bible beloved children be ye imitators we are commanded we are not just commanded to not to lie not to steal that ten commandments is beyond god also commanded you to imitate him so god is saying do likewise behave like me every mother every father would like to see the child your children looking like you talking like you walking like you acting like you god also looks at you want you to talk like him want you to think like him because you are the child of the living god you are the son of the living god what made you a son because you believe that jesus is the son of god and he died and rose again the third day you are saved you are now born of the spirit you are now a god a baby god born in the throne room of god you are from the royal lineage don't say i am not from the royal lineage in the physical world my parents are very poor therefore i don't have a future no 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 your lineage the day you give life to christ your lineage change in the realm of the spirit when they call your name it is your father that appears on your behalf because you are now a bona fide child of the living god the creator of the heavens and the earth the maker of all and the source of all manifestation the controller of all things that is who your father is your father is not that man you saw physically that one is your guide there is a father in the physical terms in the camouflage system the earth is called a camouflage system because in the physical world we are existing with certain kind of limitation for example this is my body this is the body of emmanuel emmanuel here may not be able to disappear and appear somewhere except certain things happen that god wants to make that to happen but on a natural sequence i do not just appear and disappear i move my body restricts my spirit so the body is a camouflage system of the reality of the person in my spirit i don't look like this i don't have this kind of hair come on if your eyes are open to see yourself in the spirit you don't look the way you look come on you are glowing more than you're looking here physically all right you may see some other aspect of your body in the dream world may look like you but in reality if god open your eyes to see your spirit state you are not exactly the way you look so we call the physical realm the camouflage system okay in the camouflage system your dad you are the one you see at home than your mom that gave birth to you you say this is my mother this is my father in the spiritual context you have a father as a spirit if you have given your life to christ you are a child of the you are the child of the living god and god is now your father that is why when jesus was teaching them how to pray in the book of john okay he said pray in this way our father who art in heaven you see that our father in heaven hallowed be your name thy kingdom come and so on and so forth so you are not alone you have a father so the bible said that god is encouraging us in romans chapter uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 be ye imitators of god anytime you see god acting in a certain way come on follow him he spoke he saw challenges he spoke with his words he did not complain you see the children of israel were leaving the land of egypt to the promised land on their journey they met with different crises they met with different challenges as long as humans are in this world challenges are inevitable but our attitude to challenge determine our upliftments okay our attitude to challenge determine the result and the outcome we get it doesn't matter your challenge everybody have their challenges okay some we cover our challenges with our clothes with our lipsticks you know with all the correct draw we do on our face and the photoshops and the ladies do and the guys we cover ourselves with our beard you have this mustache you shape it up you coil your hair and you come out you know put on that suit and you just say i'm the guy i'm the guy but we all have challenges okay everybody's hiding their challenges one way or the other however your attitude to your challenge is what determines the outcome of that challenge the size of the challenge is not what determines the outcome every human beings naturally want to think that their problem is the worst problem 
that their issues is the worst issues that what they are going through is the worst my brothers and sisters what you're going through the bible said is not co is common to men there is nobody that will pass through anything in this physical world that is not common to men it's been common to men men have come and conquered and moved to the next realm because this is a realm of transition all right this is the realm of reformation in this world we are now it's called the realm of reformation as well where your spirit is trained where your spirit is groomed where your spirit is transformed to become like who is training you whoever is training you so you have human beings on the earth trained by nakash nakash is the old serpent the devil okay we have beings human beings who have been corrupted by demonic forces they are trained by their own father to become like their father they cause chaos pains and sorrow in the society there are people that are agents of light you are an agent of light so you must act and reflect light he said let men see your good deed that they may glorify your father in heaven he says shine as light in the world that men will see your good deeds and glorify your father what in heaven so speak like god release your words believe god and release it from your mouth don't stay there second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 turn your bibles with me if you have your bible with you second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 i'll read he said we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believe and therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore we speak second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith you see that according as it is written written where in the bible in the book of truths the book of all realities as it is written I believe and therefore have I spoken. Did you see that? I believe and therefore have I spoken. So speaking is a product of believing. We also believe and therefore we speak. As a result of our belief, we speak. Consciously or unconsciously, man always proclaim their belief system by what they say. If you want to go up, mount up to mount up there is a teaching like that i had a long time i taught a long time ago i'm going to bring that teaching up again you mount up to mount up you do what you mount up to mount up don't mount down if you want to mount up don't talk down if you want to move up don't irrespective of what you see can i tell you something nakash and his agents when i say nakash i'm referring to the devil demons the devil himself the old serpent is called nakash that being and his agents their duty is to make you believe that you are a nobody is to make you say negative words they give you experiences to change your mind from realities of god's word to make you doubt god did you remember in the garden of eden adam and eve what did nakash tell eve what did nakash communicate to eve what did he told he told eve something Nakash said to Eve, the old serpent, did God tell you not to eat of this fruit? He knew that they had been instructed. He asked her, did God tell you not to eat? She answered, yes. Say, Haba, Haba, this fruit will make you wise. See, events of life, either it comes in any department of your life, maritally, professional wise academic any aspect of life these challenges come you will hear words from the agents of darkness bombarding your minds telling you that god's word is not valid god said you are intelligent and you are failing exams that doesn't look like god are you sure you're a christian are you sure god is with you are you sure you are coming out of this May I tell you, you are not coming out of this problem. You see, these words will be coming to your mind. Sometimes, depending on the intensity, it can be so intense. Don't sit down there and accept those thoughts. If you accept those thoughts, you will start talking negative. You hear somebody, he said, this problem I'm going through. Pastor, you don't understand. Maybe you are not going through it. That's why you don't understand. I don't think I can come out of this problem. It's going to take a long while. You see, she's telling you her belief. He's telling you his belief. He's telling pastor her belief, his belief. She has already become a prophet. He has prophesied that it's going to take a long while. Even if it's something God could have solved immediately, the person believed that it's going to take a long 
why she is demonstrating her faith in the forces of darkness negative or transient remember ephesians chapter 4 you read from verse 21 it said let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth but that which is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearer let no corrupt word let no inoperative word let no perverse word let no demoralizing word proceed that corrupt word stand for perversion okay let no perverse word let no demoralizing word let no debased word impure word inferior word altar of origin altering the origin of the word let no perverse word come out of your mouth but that which is good for necessary edification sorry Ephesians 4 29 Ephesians 4 29 say let no corrupt word proceed from your mouth but speak that which is good for necessary edification necessary building up necessary charging up necessary enablement that it may impact grace to the hearer your words impact grace or impact death or impact sorrow impact failure that it may impact grace to the hearer the hearer not necessarily mean a second party or a third party you are the hearer of what you are saying you are the first beneficiary of what you say not the other person listening to you because as you're saying it your spirit is hearing you you are hearing yourself saying it you are the one hearing beneficiary of that so you must be very careful what you say your faith releases the word from your heart don't talk down talk the word of god feed on the word of god the word of god you feed on when you are not in crisis is the word of god that will come out of your mouth when you face crisis the word of god you feed on when you are at rest when you are not having challenges is the word of god that will come out of you once you have challenges have you pressed an orange before that is full of water if you press that orange give a little opening in that orange just press the orange you see how the wash of water will gush out with force because that orange is loaded with water come on be loaded with the word of god the bible said let the word of god dwell in you richly in all wisdom it didn't say let it dwell in you scantily let the word dwell in you richly create time for the word feed on the word daily let the word saturate your entire being so that when you face crisis the mouth your mouth will speak life your mouth will speak glory your mouth will speak supernatural for effect i'll give you an instance of how the word can help you when you face certain crisis many years ago i had a mentor who was mentoring me and then um because of the what i want to say i don't want to mention his name here um then um there's this program we went for and he was finding powers of darkness com commanding spirits out of people conducting deliverance and then there was this girl a little girl the power in her was resistive because um the agents of darkness as 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 really grabbed a hold of her spirit and made her to be oppressed of a very stubborn demonic presence so and this girl the demon in her was talking and told my mentor that um you see i cannot leave this girl because she has my property with her i gave her some things as a gift and she is in is in her house and i'm not going to leave until she brings those things and she returned those things back to me i noticed that at that moment my mentor was distracted he wanted to continue he wanted to tell the girl to to go home and bring those things okay and by the time he started I said, please sir can i can i handle this case he said yes take over because why i said i want to handle the case was i knew it was a distraction you see the word of god is to dwell in you richly something pop up in my spirit the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof and they that dwell within it and he has given it to the sons of men the earth belongs to the sons of men the earth in the sub two aspects belongs to men okay the spiritual aspect of the earth and the entirety of the earth belongs to man it doesn't belong to spirits he said let us make man in our image that they may have dominion over the beast of the field over the birds of the air and over all the arts when he mentioned all the art is referring to the spiritual side of the earth and the physical aspect of the earth that we can see with our optical eyes these are the things god was communicating so i knew that very well by the scriptures and then i turned to the lady and i said you devil you didn't create anything you don't have creative force of life you don't have zoe and the earth is the lawfulness thereof whatever you gave her is her own property get out of that body and immediately the demon threw her on the floor and, and left her she became free you see what God did there. God, that could only happen by knowledge. 
If you lack knowledge, you'll be deceived. When a man speaks, he speaks either his fear or his faith. Anytime a man is communicating, he communicates his fear or his faith. Job said, what I greatly fear has come upon me. If you check the book of Job chapter 1, read down, I think around verse 6. He said, what I greatly fear has come, about, around, has, come, has come upon me. Job has been talking about his fear. That opened the door for the enemy to approach the throne room and seek for permission to begin to exert misdemeanor over the guy. Your fear opens door for the enemy. Fear is the hand we used to receive from the enemy. Faith is the hand we used to receive from God. Fear opens you up for darkness to operate. Faith opens you up for God to operate in your life. Fear energizes and fuels and catalyzes demons to operate. Faith catalyzes the angels to function. Fear creates an atmosphere by which demons can operate. Faith creates an atmosphere for angels to be able to operate in your life. I plead with you, brothers and sisters, from today. Let the word of God saturate you. Let your words speak the word of God. Speak the mind of God. In respect of what you see, respect what you are experiencing, say the word. The word of God mightily grew in the city of Ephesus and prevailed. The word of God will grow and prevail in your world, in your life. It doesn't matter your situation right now. Your situation may be so bad and so pathetic that people are pitying you every day. Oh, sorry, Mr. So-and-so. Oh, sorry, Miss So-and-so. People are sympathizing with you every day. Tell yourself that your life is not a life of sympathy talk to yourself look at the mirror tell that image you see in the mirror my life is not the life of empathy it's not a life of sympathy i am not to be pitied i have a god i am not alone in the name of jesus i am rising out of this mess for the lord god almighty is in me greater is he that lives in me than he that lives in the world i refuse to chicken out of this challenge i see this challenge as bread i will not chicken out i will not bow down to darkness i will not bow down to failure i will not give up the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restored my soul. Why shall I be afraid of man? The Lord is with me as a mighty man of valor. He is the high and lofty king. He is the everlasting God. Begin to speak life to your environment. You are a king. You are a queen. You are not just a mere human being. Never you think you are a mere human being. Never. No true Christian is a human being. No, no. Take that from me. The word of God has said it. I believe it. And that settles it completely. I took that word from, from a man called Smith Mingo Sword. He's a man that lived in the 18th century. He, he raised about 42 dead people before he died. Recorded. Okay? That guy was a man of faith. He said, God says it. I believe it. That settles it. There's no negotiation. God does not negotiate. God is too big to negotiate with darkness. You to be like God. Remember Ephesians 5 verse 1. Be ye imitators of God, a jelly beloved children. Imitate God. Don't live like a man. You are not a man. Remember the Bible says, Ye are gods unto whom the word of God came. John chapter 10, read from verse 32. He said, Ye are gods. You all of you are children of the most high. Ye are gods. Don't talk like men. Don't think like men. Men depend on their senses only. That's why they die cheaply. They depend on their senses only. That's why they're defeated. You cannot be defeated. You should not be defeated. No. The word lives in you. The word abides in you. The word abides in you. Sin cannot defeat you. The Bible says sin shall not have dominion over you. By faith we conquer sin. By faith we overcome sin. By faith we overcome pains. By faith to overcome sickness. By faith we overcome disease. The Bible said by faith men obtain good report. The elders, they have good report by faith. Men, men were torn apart by faith. Men quench the violence of fire by faith. By faith, men took over cities. By faith, men dominated. See, by faith, the world is created. By faith. This world you're living in, everything you see is created by faith. And the Bible says, this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. So what is killing the believers? Ignorance. You are in the office, you can't shine. It's not, it's not, see, it's not about the skill. Say you didn't have skill, that's why you're not shining. What do you have? The young lad said, I have four loaves, five loaves and two fish. That was enough for 5,000 people. Understand the way God thinks. You think you are nobody. Let me tell you, there's something in you that God has placed. You didn't, nobody came to the earth empty. Never. What would be unjust? Every human being came to this earth with potentials. 
God created you with potentials. You may not have discovered your potential. You may not have discovered your, 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 your point of shining, your, 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 your glory. You may not discover. Just mean you didn't come with one. Don't be discouraged. Talk faith. Speak the words of faith. The earth realm is it the earth realm is actually what activated when you speak earth responds to you when you speak the system respond to you the system of our world the earth realm is what activation is what activated you activate the earth by words talk Go be quiet how can you sit in that corner of your house and something is telling you you are going to die you will not leave you will die when you sit down there accepting that thought come on come on and the next thing you see is people committing suicide how can you commit suicide why my brothers and sisters when you hear such voices rebuke that voice sharply you are not ordinary you did not you were born with angels the bible said their angels are before the presence of the lord talking about children when you were born on this world you were born angels were assigned to you you are somebody's property you don't own yourself you don't own yourself god owns you you are pro don't you protect your phone okay now tell me my brothers and sisters don't you protect your phone if it's raining if your phone is not the type that should absorb water you run away from the rain you protect your phone from the water you take your phone around you you pocket it sometimes you put your phone in your pocket you still put your hand in your pocket to protect your phones you don't want your phone to damage because you value the phone my friend god values you my friends, God loves you. He loves you. He say, if he loves me, why am I going to what I'm going to? Yes, you may go through it. He's not the architect of your problem. The world system, we can't talk about the source of problems now. The time will not permit me. There are different sources of issues. But you are not alone. Feed on the word and speak the word. And see God walk in your life like never before. It might take some time. Come on, keep saying the word. Don't stop. Whatever closes your mouth has closed your destiny. Hear me? Whatever closes your mouth has closed your destiny. Don't allow your mouth to be shut up by challenges. Don't allow your mouth to be shut up by weaknesses. Every man has weakness. Whether they wear color, they are bishops, they are archbishops, they are geos, they are general overseers. Every man has weaknesses. So don't let your weakness rule you. Don't let it ruin your life. Call on God. For those that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you call on him, believe he has heard you. Act like somebody that is saved. Act like a queen. Act like a king. Don't beg unnecessarily. You are not a beggar. Don't think like a beggar. This is what stops the glory of God from working in some people's lives. They think like a beggar. They talk like a beggar. Say, because I'm poor. Who told you you are poor? The world defined their own system, what they call poverty, and, and told you that when you don't have money, you are poor. That is not true. Don't live that way. Don't worry. Uh, time, my time is uh, up. I don't want to talk more than this for now. There will be second part of this by next week. But take it from me, from the scripture of God, God cannot lie to you. Don't talk like a poor man. Don't talk like a pauper. Don't live like a poor man don't live like a pauper it's all the issue of the mind talk by the word of god speak the word of god think the word of god saturate yourself with the word of god let the word of god be your own means of judgment your source of judgment let it be the word if god say you are beautiful you are beautiful god say you are handsome you're handsome god say you are rich you are rich period God say you are healthy, you are healthy, period. Live that way and you will see the glory of God working in your life. Father, we thank you for this exposition. We give you glory. We thank you for talking to us and imparting our spirit with your words. I pray today over your children and I decree right now every voice of darkness that have risen to dominate your spirit are hereby banished in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation from any altar that have been raised from any realm of existence to change your motive, to change your attitude, to cause you to be negatively inclined in any form, shape or fashion I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Every Amen. agent 
position in your life directly or indirectly some human beings are agents unknowingly to them to speak negative to judge negative to cause you to walk in the company of vibrations of darkness everyone planted around you to cause you to to move in the realm of negativity i dissociate you from them in the name of jesus i command from today Amen. that your life will be saturated with the glory of the lord i speak Amen. for today that you are growing in faith i prophesy that the word of god exposed to you the reality of the world we enter into you and cause you to live by the world and not by your senses in the name of jesus Amen. i lay demand according to the message of god on the grace that makes a man to desire and hungry for the word and the grace that makes the man to be disciplined to feed on the word i lay demand on that grace on your behalf and i prophesy mm. that the word of god will dwell in you richly in the name mm. of jesus your faith, mm. your faith will not fail your faith will not fail your faith will mm. disappoint you in the name of mm. jesus mm. i command mm. god to open for you i command favor mm. to follow you mm. i command light to shine mm. But the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter. Your path can only be brighter and brighter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The face of God shine upon you. The people of God surround your family. Your husband, your wives, your children. I claim them for the Lord in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to pray for any family member of yours that is here to be saved. Pray for their salvation right now. God just wants us to do that. Just pray for the salvation of any member of your family that is not saved. Pray for God to save them right now. The Spirit of God to reach out to them. God to send laborers to them right now. In the name of Jesus. Pray for your family members. Pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. For those around you that are not saved. Let the hand of God be spread over their lives. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, and we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, you said the laborers are few. The harvest is plentiful. Mm. Every member of our families has presented before you today that are not saved. Let laborers be sent to them. Let them be saved in the name Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. We receive their soul Amen. for Amen. We receive their soul for Christ. Amen. And the power of hell Amen. is broken from their lives in the name Amen. of God. Amen. Father, receive testimonies. Go ahead and say congratulations. Receive testimonies. Amen. I receive testimony. Congratulations. I receive, I receive my testimony. Go ahead and say I receive my testimonies in the name of Jesus. I receive my testimony. Congratulations, everyone. I receive my testimony. Your testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.